this is Paula, your customer success manager here at TrustCloud, and today we're going to go over our third-party risk assessment application called TrustLens. Now, in order to get started, we're going to use the app switcher to navigate to TrustLens. And now that we're here, what we're going to do is go over the process of creating vendor tiers, um, assessment templates, and sending those assessments to vendors. Now, the very first step when you're in TrustLens is to create an assessment template. So in this case, you have two options when creating a template. You can upload your custom security template here, but you also have the option to leverage our template by mapping the controls in your program to test the vendor against. And we do recommend this option because it is our template. So that way, when the assessment is completed, you could re-upload it into the platform with the answers and it will auto populate those answers for you. So because of the automation and because it's taking the control verbiage from your program and testing the vendor against it, we do recommend that you leverage our template for this. So for the purposes of this demo, we're going to go with the recommended option. And here, uh, you're going to have the option to name the assessment and then also select the format you would like the assessment to be in. So in this example, we're going to select a vendor name and this is just a demo account. So we're going to select uh, data innovations, critical risk assessment, since we're going to categorize this as a critical tier. And you're gonna select the format of the assessment. And once you do that, you're going to see that we've created an assessment based on the controls in your program. So you're going to go through these sections here and customize the assessment. You can exclude questions, you can exclude you know, the comment required portion and save section. And you're going to do this for all the sections here. And when you get through all of these sections and you finish customizing your assessment, we're gonna go ahead and mark this as complete. Once you do that, the next step is to go into the tiers portion. So now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead and create a new tier. So we're going to select uh, our, another demo account we have called Data Innovations. And once we create the tier, we're gonna add more information based on the tier and why it's you know, a critical vendor tier. So you're gonna fill out some answers here, um, you know, including the impact if this vendor, the vendor in this tier were to fail and we're gonna select very high. Maximum level of risk tolerance is gonna to be low since this is a critical vendor. These vendors are also typically critical for business operations if they're in that specific tier. What kind of data do they store? Typically, if it's a critical vendor, we do suggest selecting customer confidential. And then how often should this vendor be assessed? Um, since it is a customer confidential vendor that handles customer data, we do suggest this to be you know, semi-annual. We're going to go ahead and save this section and move on to the next one. In the business information section, you're going to drag and drop any information you would like the vendor to provide, as well as any optional fields within the assessment. We're going to go ahead and save the section and move on to risk surface. Here, you're going to select the type of data that this vendor stores and processes. And for the purposes of this demo, we're going to select financial data, PII, and if they access any of your applications, which, which ones are they? So for this example, we're going to select CRM and we're gonna go ahead and save this section. In the next section, we're going to add, they're going to ask you if you want the vendor to provide any SOC 2 reports or any other reports um, that they may have. So here you have the option to select anything you want them to provide. You can go ahead and save this section and move on to the document section, which is very similar to the compliance section. Um, this one though is related to policies. Keep in mind that, you know, the policies that will populate in this section right here are related to the policies that are already present in your program. So if you have any other policies that might not be present here, um, you could definitely add uh, the name of the custom policy here that you want them to provide. Um, and it will go into the document request list once the vendor receives the assessment. And now we're going to move on to the last section in which you can link the assessment questionnaire that we created earlier to this vendor tier. So for the purposes of this demo, we will require the assessment questionnaire so you could see how we're gonna link this to the assessment we created. Now that we've linked the assessment to the vendor tier, whenever we classify 
a vendor in this critical tier, it's going to go ahead and, and link that assessment to any vendors assigned uh, the critical tier. So now that we're done here, we're gonna mark this as complete and we're gonna go to the vendors list and I'm going to select a vendor as an example that has not been classified as of yet. And how you would do this is you would edit the vendor details and add a uh, customer confidential and then add the vendor tier as critical. And then we're gonna go ahead and update this vendor. You will get a warning here, and this is just because the program wants you to input the metadata, but you can always come back to that later. We're gonna go ahead and ignore and continue. And the next uh, and final step is to create the vendor assessment, and you would just select add new assessment here. You would input the vendor email, contact name, and you could select a start and due date for this assessment, and it will automatically link the assessment we created when they receive the email. So we're gonna go ahead and create assessment. Lastly, we want to show you what this assessment looks like once the vendor receives it. So this is what the email looks like uh, with the list of requested items as well as the assessment attached at the very bottom. Once the vendor completes the assessment, they will send it back to you. And what you have to do is go into your portal and upload the completed assessment right here. And we will auto populate some information based on the assessment if you did use our template. You can also upload any certifications they sent back. This will be auto populated for you based on the assessment. Any documents they provided, you can upload on this end. And then summary and assessment is basically where you identify any gaps based on the assessment and assign the vendor a risk rating. Once you're done with this, you're gonna mark this as complete and it will show as complete on the vendors list. And that's pretty much the gist of Trust Lens. Thank you for watching this video.